necessary uh, styling. Then you can define your own style, then you can automatically build your own style. You can have a line, polygon, point, style, or you can divide your own uh, style files and input here this journey file. I will, when I have time, I will show you how can you may build your own customize uh, the customize customize files, the own uh, styling file, then you can, can make more, uh, make a more legend in the maps and make more colorful maps and do some, some geo processing tasks with, uh, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the, with the colors, colors presentations <coughs> or the chrom chromographical maps, then you can build it from here. So, <coughs> so that means you layers, all the necessary layers we need to our application, you need to define here. So this, this is the layer we need to see into the into the our web pages our page so let's see how it look like into the into the into the into the into the open street map presentation so here are the layers we have defined our all necessary layers we have kml not this one we can go to second page and then this is our roads layers major road layers you can view it from directly from open layers into the from the so from the from the geo server ui web ui so you can view it from how it look like and this is the no not that this one we are not one thing this one we are looking for our major road so in major road in bangladesh so you see that all the information major road even though you can click it and then you get information from the down level the information of the each of the geometry <coughs> This, this is the data coming from the OpenStreetMap. So you can see the information here, even though our, uh, maybe our geometry, geometry info, is it available, is configured? No, it's not configured properly. It's not configured. Let's, let's see, how is it? Other, <coughs> other, other geo, geo info. So you see the, our the application data. That's I discussed this one a lot of times, many times. So you can see the information that's needed with exactly what I expected. So it has all information, uh, the, the, all the latitude, uh, all the city ID, city, country, house number, road name, and then it has coordinates points, the polygon coordinates points. So it says information is there. So every information is there. So click it and see the information is there. So this is the application data. That's why we, we already talked about that one, the application data, how does it look like? <coughs> this is the application data that we are looking for. So this is the new application data. So it's coming from the backend server and we plot it into the, uh, we configure the, our, this uh, data into the Geo server and call these services into the, into the, our view pages. This is our uh, server call, the service call. So I will show you one of the examples. So see, the you you one of the name of the service and then the the the, the port number the application port number uh, application local home the which where where is the geo server located or installed or, or running and this port number and geo server specific uh, value and this is our application and wms service and this is our port service name this one so if you look at the url so if i go to the url this one so if I go to this, copy this URL into the here, if it looks the structure look like this way. So where is it? So here is, you see the, the layers. You see the layers and then this is the bounding box. Okay, this is the bounding box we already defined into the, into the here. So it's defined our the bounding box and also the where the projection system and where is where the projection system from transform from here to there. So that means the Google using this projection system and the standard <coughs> open layer is using this projection system. <coughs> so that's that's like just a way we just copied this URL to the this part, the name of the layers and then put it the URL name and the layer names and that's all and put it here the transparent and we can call it all services so the same same thing is we are calling here the all the layers that we define it here so that's the idea uh, that's the here so we define our all the all the services all the services that we need it here so here even though you can go with the win when we can export the this 
this this this this this files the data in as a KML. Then after that uh, that uh, KML. Then after that you can you can you can you can go there KML and this KML is download installed into the local downloaded. You download it and put it in the KML into the Google app and you can see exactly where it's located. I will give you to the next screencast. I will add it in one example. How can edit your a KML file into the Google app. So that idea. So it's a different formats to to output it. Like you can KML files, even though you can go the shape files the format or GML or CSV files. You can do a lot of possibility to export this this data into the different format of the file system. And after that, you can use this file into the different application into different uh, the application libraries or depending which library you are using. So if you have KML. Open OpenStreetMap or you can PDF also the C as BZ files and depend on the application specification and CSF and WFS files. That's all the format that you can export the file and GeoJSON files. And after the, if you have a GeoJSON file, just you can directly call the GeoJSON file into the your, your into the your browser. That's 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 works. That's that's what we expected. So that means you need to install the Geo server. You need to put all the necessary shape files, all the files, geo files into the data directory, and then, then you have to be, then after starting the geo server, and then you you need to build a new workspace, and then you need to define the from here. You need to be all the necessary store, and store has to be a different sources of. This is coming from the PostGIS database or shape files. If it's PostGIS database means on the existing shape files, I we will put it into the geo server in the into the PostGIS database. Then from PostGIS database, we can connect from there. So this this last screen I already discussed that one. How can you migrate? I can take the shape file directly to the to the post post GIS database. This is the tools it says uh, shape. <coughs> shape. This is the tools for post uh, post GIS shape file and ADF. Uh, shape file and df dbf loader exporter the files so you, can, you can go these tools and just you can select your shape files uh, if you can you can connect the your database backend server fast this information this and then you select your select your 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 edit files and you take the files from the your your uh, your file systems and then put it in the file data into the database that i show you, already show you here the data is coming uh, this data, this table coming from the shape files from the OpenStreetMap, and then after that I filter this one, and after from this one, this is the information is there from the database, and I use it these files to other to the to the Geo server and produce the services and call these services into the our web pages. So let's have a check. This is my service is running. So then we can we can clearly show how is it now. The Geo server. Local, local application. So this is our complete application. So here is the, our geo tag. You can have an option like to selecting the uh, Google Map or OpenStreetMap, and this is the, our overlay uh, overlay maps data from the geo server via geo services. So you see, they click it, and you get you take the you call the services, and get the data from the PostGIS database to the Geo server via Geo server, and to put it this data into the OpenStreetMap, and then you can put it this data, and even though in the in the in the Google 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 Maps, it's it's local local is depending on the license that I said. Uh, let's see, it's is something special. So it's coming this one because the license because it's some some somehow more restriction in the Google Maps to load it in in Germany. That's why it's taking some this only the development case development cases you can load it here. So you can so different option of the terrain maps, and then even though you can select it from here, then then the primary roads only the show the primary roads, and then you can show the the, the Naka city that road networks only. Even those goes go there. 
only the like a city road network is seen only the different levels of information. That's why I said we don't we 